Yo, what's up guys, it's Dan here, and do I get the quad, do I get the quad, do I get the Damn it, a split quad, unfortunately for me. But anyways, that's a pretty good way to open a streak, and this streak is a chem streak. A chem strike streak on the map of Ruins, and I get a chem strike, obviously. Um, so it's a Ruins chem strike DLC gameplay, not a bad gameplay in my opinion. And I'm actually not going to lie, this is probably my favourite DLC map um, Infinity Ward have ever brought out because back in COD 4, MW2 and MW3 I never bought the DLCs. I did see a couple of them like um, I did buy like a couple on MW3 like the very first one and the face-off packs but other than that not really because it was it was all it was it didn't really appeal to me but on Ghost obviously want to get some DLC different map content out for you guys for you lot to enjoy which hopefully you do because Obviously, I wouldn't be doing my job if you didn't. But anyways, Ruins is a pretty good map. And I'm going to just start off with the negatives, which made no sense. I said it's a good map, but I'm going to start off with the negatives. I'm just going to get the bad things out of the way. Um, well, the bad thing out of the way. So basically, for a field order, you can get a, a me. You can get a predator. And it's basically a predator from the Alien vs. Predator film series. I never really watched it, but I had heard of it. And basically what it does, it can just run around and shank you with like similar health to the Maniac and Michael Myers. So it's basically one of the Michael Myers edition things. But there is a twist, and this twist is annoying. I can't stand the twist. When you kill it, or you make it disabled or something, you disable, destroy it or whatever, it, it goes into de like a dead man's handstand, and it gives you a four second countdown, and it blows the map. And when I say it blows the map, it kills anyone on the other team. Anyone, and it's not fair. Because once I was on like a 17 and 18, and I got killed by it on a freaking 18 when it got killed by a teammate. And it's not fair because other people have to suffer some bullshit like that because, um... I mean, fair enough it, if it just blew up like a small radius, but blowing up the whole map, that's ridiculous, it's stupid. But, oh, hopefully... It does get patched, we'll see. But anyways, back to the positive. This map is sort of it's sort of different because you don't really get sort of jungly um, temple maps before on on Call of Duty Ghosts. Another benefit that I do like is that this there's like a huge temple tower thing. Not many people abuse it actually. It's quite surprising really because the reason why I don't think it is it's abused because um, it is quite. It's not exactly revealing. It doesn't really give you a good overview of the map, which is good because it brings a bit more map variety around you can run around different parts of the map and get kills which is good and it's really it's like reasonably small as well so I really like small maps so hopefully you enjoy this gameplay I get chem strike very very shortly and I will see you very soon be sure to check out my channel for more DLC gameplays and I'm out peace